Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie from QNAP, and I'm here to talk about the Time Machine backup on the QNAP Turbo NAS. I'll be doing a little demonstration on how to enable, manage, and start the Time Machine backup step by step. Today, I'll be going over the demonstration every step on how to enable, manage, start, and restore a Time Machine backup on the Turbo NAS. Benefits of using Time Machine With the Time Machine backup enabled on the Turbo NAS, the up-to-date copies of the photos, music, videos, documents, settings, and applications on your Mac can be backed up automatically to the NAS. You can also recover the data from the NAS to your Mac anytime you want. Since backup is very important, it is crucial to always maintain a copy somewhere in your home. But with a NAS, you don't even have to manually back up to an external hard drive. It is all done over your local network. This will effectively help to prevent any disasters that might happen to your computers. To enable the Time Machine feature on your Turbo NAS, you will need to install QFinder, which you can find on our website to download prior to using this feature. Remember, in this demo, I'll be using QTS 4.0, which is our newest OS, and if you do have the previous QTS, be sure to visit our website to download it to your NAS. So you can see right now, I have all the steps to how to manage your Time Machine backup on the Turbo NAS. So please pause if you want to see it, and you can always go over it yourself. And over here, this will show you how to start a Time Machine backup to the Turbo NAS. It is very easy and you'll see later in my demonstration on how to use it. Since you are most likely a Mac user, take advantage of this feature and don't let your precious files be lost. And be sure to always have a backup of your file somewhere in case something happens to your computer. And right now for the live demonstration. So right now you can see I'm at my QTS desktop. And on the main menu, I'm going to drag the backup station to the desktop so I can use it at any time I want. And when I click it, go under backup server and time machine. There's a box that says enable time machine support. Just click that box and you'll start enabling this feature and set your password and select the disk drive and capacity and click apply. And once I click apply, it's going to start enabling this feature. So on the top, the tab that says Managed Backup, it will show you all the multiple Macs that you have used Time Machine Backups to the NAS. And you can manage by deleting your files or changing the name. So right now, I'm at my desktop of my Mac and I'm going to go to my time machine, which I will click on the system preference and on the bottom there's going to be a time machine icon. And I'm going to select backup disk and I'm going to select my NAS, which is the second one. And right now it's going to start connecting to it. So. And now I get this login information. I'm going to put Time Machine, which I have set before in the password, which was admin and connect. And now it's going to start backing up in 120 seconds. So after this countdown, it's going to start backing up and you can just leave the computer on. And depending on your internet speed, it's going to start backing up everything on your Mac um, from the Time Machine to the Turbo NAS. So let's get back to the slides. Today, uh, I've demonstrated that backing up is very crucial for every computer. So in this tutorial, we've learned how to enable Time Machine and manage Time Machine and to start Time Machine backup. Thank you for watching this video. For more information and questions, please contact us at q underscore support us at qnap.com. For Time Machine support link, please type in this link down here. And for direct support, please call us at 909-595-2782. Thank you.